Alright, this level walkthrough is going to cover Southeast Europe heat wave and the Axis campaign of I Bomber Defense. This is the sixth mission, including all the uh, counterattacks. Um, I'm showing you how to get perfect on this level. Um, first things first, make sure to check the video description if you're watching this on YouTube. I'll be posting links to full text walkthrough um, that has maps, extra information, hints and tips, uh, and um, additional links to videos um, that you can find, actually embedded videos, um, for the entire Axis campaign and the Allied campaign as well. Um, so definitely check that out um, when you see the link show up. Um, first things first, uh, we're our turrets, we're going to be building a bunch of machine gun turrets um, near the convergent spots of the uh, two main paths in this mission. Actually, three main paths, considering the one that you can't readily see um, that runs around the lake as you saw the infantry. Um, and again, they're coming through, which can be kind of tricky uh, considering the last time we played on this location, there's only the main two. But also, the lake hadn't been dried up yet, so. Definitely an uh, interesting twist on a previous level we've already been to. Um, as you can see, I'm starting to place cannon turrets now. Um, you need to place a anti aircraft cannon right before the. Uh, 15th wave to stop the aircraft from coming in. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it now to level 2. Um, this is these missions, uh, the first few missions are the only ones where you can really a good idea to um, upgrade things like anti-aircraft turrets ahead of time because uh, in other missions we'll be needing every little uh, dollar that we have um, you see I kind of messed up there, so you're going to rewind and uh, place some additional turrets along this path. And decide to place a cannon turret by the home base, so that way it covers uh, both directions at once. And that worked for that wave, so we're still going perfect. And um, as you can see, at wave 18 was where that second level of anti-aircraft turret was needed. Um, so if you want, you can hold off till that point um, to build one of those. As you can see, I'm going to start placing the X weapon now. Um, and we boosted it already to level 3, uh, considering the turrets that are nearby it. And um, as I mentioned before, X weapons are basically an essential part of the Axis campaign. Um, whereas the Comsat turret was an essential part in the Allied campaign, um, because you got uh, interest and boosted range for all nearby turrets, um, the X weapon gets boosted damage from nearby turrets instead. So consider it as though you're building up interest in the form of damage output. Um, whereas before we used the Comsat turret to build a whole rack of turrets uh, with the interest it provided. In this sense, um, we're going to build as many X turrets as, uh, or X weapons as possible um, in the Axis campaign in order to um, do overwhelming damage uh, with less money. And uh, you'll see more of what I mean as we uh, progress further into the campaign and further missions. As you can see, you got a lot of machine gun turrets. Um, got two level three cannons, one level two cannon by the home base, uh, one level two anti-aircraft gun, and another level one anti-aircraft gun um, on that middle island in the middle of the dried out lake. Uh, since my um, anti-aircraft turrets are only unlocked to level two, that's the um, max we can do um, with those defenses. And as you can see, I decided to upgrade one of them because those uh, bombers start to get a little bit too close to the base there. So that would be a good idea to do at this point in the level. But that's it, perfect round. So that was the end anyways. And what we're going to do with their points here is unlock uh, by level 3 and anti-aircraft level 3.